This is Paul Klee's painting called Castle and the Sun. We are going to create our own today. We are going to be building a constructed environment. I want you to think of the word constructed like if you were thinking of construction. A construction worker is someone who builds buildings or roads or something like that. So they use big tools and machinery to be able to construct that environment. We will be builders today to make a constructed environment and build our castle. We will be using these types of shapes to build our castle. These types of shapes that normally have kind of straighter edges are called geometric shapes. Can you see any geometric shapes in Paul Klee's constructed environment? Today, you will need some cardboard, scissors, a pencil, a piece of paper, and something to color with. First, you'll start by asking a parent or guardian to help you cut out some geometric shapes from just a scrap piece of cardboard. This was a box that was in my recycling that I decided to use for this project. You can cut rectangles, squares, and triangles. You might want to experiment using different sizes as well. Once you have your shapes all ready to go, you are going to trace around them in order to build your castle. So I want you to start at the bottom corner and then build your first tower up. Then you can start another tower right next to it. You are going to build that tower up now too. When I trace around things, I like to make sure that I'm holding them down really, really steady with my hand and then tracing with the other hand. Notice how I'm pushing the cardboard down with my fingers to make sure that it stays in place while I trace. After you're all done tracing around all of your beautiful shapes and making your marvelous castle, what you are going to do next is grab something black. It could be a Sharpie, it could be a regular marker or a crayon, and just try your best to trace around your shapes. Um, if you're having some difficulty, you can always ask a parent or guardian to help you out, or you could skip this part and just go right ahead to coloring it in. Then what you're going to do is Pick something to color your castle in with. It could be oil pastels, markers, paints, or crayons. I'm going to use oil pastels today to color my castle in. You might even want to go back in and split apart some of your shapes into triangles and maybe add like some arches for doorways. And then you can continue coloring. You want to make sure that you keep coloring until all of those geometric shapes are filled in. I decided to paint my sky, but you could definitely just leave it white or you could color it with a different material if you'd like. If you have paints, it might be kind of fun to paint yours in too. You can add a sun as well if you would like by including a circle in your sky just like the artist Paul Klee. What kind of geometric shapes did you create in your constructed environment that you built today?